On this boat, we use hydraulic to control everything we move. To control the wing, to control the wing twist. Obviously, we use hydraulic to control the foil and also the rudders. The way that we use hydraulics, the way that we control, especially the hydraulics, is at a very, very different level now to what we have in the past. Airbus in aviation is used to that entire control system, and so we've adopted a lot of those lessons, a lot of that technology, philosophy and mindset into the systems that we're now incorporating into the AC-50. We support our Cold Team USA with our expertise in hydraulic and control system. The goal here is to have the fastest boat. To do that, at some point, you have to reduce your stability margin to keep the speed going up. If you don't have an accurate control system, you can't maintain a stable flight. Also, their approach to testing is on a different level to us as well. They've really pushed a, a program and a protocol where we thoroughly test not only components, but isolated systems before they go on the boat. Instead of testing hydraulic valve a new control system on the water, we test a lot here on our dedicated test bench and we set everything on the test bench so when it's ready to go, we put it on the boat, we do the final adjustment and then we go sailing with the best we can have. Through the simulation and data analysis, the guys have been able to minimize the response time of that system, being able to fly more accurately and push, therefore, the design of our boards. When you start talking about milliseconds to control your pitch and switch from something about 300 milliseconds to less than 100 milliseconds, well, those gains are totally translated in performance for the crew. It's so definitely a gain in time and a gain in performance. So we've been really lucky to have the collaboration with Airbus. The fact that they can bring those tools and that expertise and use them in the application has been a real gain for us.